What is intelligence, and how did it evolve? At some point during the evolution of man, a mutation occurred, giving ape-like mammals abnormally large brains. With these big brains, they were able to think of ways to increase their overall survivability, getting new techniques for nursing wounds and gathering food. But with this newfound brain power, strange things began to occur. They developed a language to communicate, math to help with trades, and music to please the soul. They are essentially the byproducts of having big brains. These byproducts of intelligence are a lot like the first computers. Programmed originally to be simple calculators, these automated programmable machines soon became much, much more. But are humans the only intelligent beings? All mammalian DNA has some similarity to humans after all. Or at the very least, segments of DNA from mammalian characteristics, like hair, a neocortex, and mammary glands. A chimpanzee is said to have the closest relation, with only a 2% difference. It is the absence of this 2% that helps shape the chimp differently during development. But the intelligence crown does not solely belong to humans. After all, after thousands of years, despite the intentional and unintentional will of others, the chimpanzee's DNA is still amongst the living. And as a final thought, is intelligence of the human level even advantageous? Intelligence of the humankind has only evolved once, while things like eyes and teeth have evolved many different times. That essentially makes us the guinea pigs for intelligent species, possibly like dinosaurs, just running out the clock.